to my new video. And today this very regular Draculaura doll will become a model for a very special makeover that I'm going to do in a collaboration with my own mom. A year ago in my special Mother Day video I have showed already lots of amazing outfits created by my mom for my Barbies when I was a kid. But I had almost no followers then, and just something about 200 people have watched that fashion show, and it's a pity because just that catwalk I was building for two days. And anyway, you can see some parts of that video here now. And lately when I visited my parents, I've asked my mom to make an outfit for Monster High doll. And she was extremely enthusiastic about it. So in the end of this video, you will see where we ended up together. And now I have to do my part of the job. And I begin like always with removing her clothes and the accessories. I cut those hair as short as I can. Then I warm up her head with a hair dryer to be able to remove it easily. With the tweezers I pull the rest of her hair off from inside of her head. And then with your acetone I take her original makeup off. prepare her body already now. It's easier to blush the head and the body together. Then you can be sure that you're using the same colors, otherwise you're gonna forget it in a couple of days and then you will suffer for a long time trying to end up with a similar skin tone everywhere. So first I sand the body with a nail buffer to remove the glossy surface, then I clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover. And then I seal both the hat and the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear and I let every layer dry about 30-40 minutes. So now let's change her skin color. You asked me quite often how to make Draculaura with a light natural skin color. And here is the two-step tutorial. First I need to neutralize her light pink color with an opposite to it color on the color wheel. And in our case, we need to use a light green pastel. And you can see, just after one layer of this light green, all the pink is gone from her face and the body. And after this, I spray the doll with the sealant. And now is the step number two. You can see still some green pastels like in the corners of her eyes and lips. And all I need to do to get rid of this green color is to apply a layer of light natural skin color pastels. And then seal it again, that's it. And now let's take my pencils and sketch her eyes. I work like always with Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. street style outfit, so I want to create the look of a very young girl, maybe a teenager or a high school student who is very free 
independent, but at the same time extremely cute in her rebellious period of life, such as street-style princess. sketch her nostrils and the corners and the inside of her lips. Then with soft pastels I sketch her eyebrows and I shape them with a piece of an eraser. The next important step is contouring. I make darker the eye creases and the area around her eyes, the sides of the nose and the corners of her lips, and then with the lighter pastels I also add a little bit of contour to her cheeks and to the hairline. shadows to her body using the same pastels. To make the shadows not so boring brown, I add a layer of pink pastels on top of the main shadows and to the cheeks.
By the way, I hope you noticed the new music in my video. Many of you asked me about it, and here it is, the new soundtrack. I spent the whole morning today listening to the new tracks, so I hope you like it more. Now finally her face and the body color look good and I can take my pencils again and start working on her eyes. Now I'm mainly blocking the colors without adding any details nor accents. brown pencil. Her lips I first simply color with pink soft pastels. work on her eyes more detail. First I add highlights and color accents to the irises. white of her eyes and red to the waterline. 
and with the same red pencil I color the eyebrows a little bit. very natural, I like to just wear some lip gloss, so I will not really exaggerate with the lip liners or creases. I think I want to give her some light smoky eyes makeup. You know, like many teenager girls use just some black pencil and mascara for their eyes. But here you need to watch out with black pastels and use literally the slightest touch of it. To make this black color a little bit softer, I still add a layer of Indian red pastels on top. With very light pastels, I highlight the middle of her face. a very light pencil and I draw the highlights around her eyes. And for blending I'm using Q-tips with sharp hands.
final accents with the black pencil, I draw the eye lines and the bottom eyelashes. attach the false lashes but first I need to make a wig for her because the falsies just will not survive the heat from a hair dryer. So let's choose her new hair together with you. Here I have a big box with doll hair and her future clothes will be in blue tones. So let's see. The ginger curls is for sure not her style. Such a long blue hair is pretty but it's way too long and puffy. And such a wig will be just too big for her cake. This dusty pink, it's a little bit too pink and too dusty. And look, this one is pretty, the same like the long blue curly wig, but it's shorter and without the waves. I think it might be ideal. Blonde, nope. The grey curls will be way too puffy. What else do I have here? Pink curls, yeah, it's the same story like with the blue curls. No, I still like the blue wig most. And it's not really blue, it's like some light purple or lilac a little bit. And it will fit her t-shirt as well. And okay, what else I have here? Pure white is for Daenerys Targaryen repaint, such a party pink, yeah, it can be, but no. Dark red, no, for sure not. So yes, I, I think I will take this one. Put her head and body back together using the hair dryer again. And finally, I attach the false lashes, add glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips, and then I sign my work.
using a ring from a plastic bottle, six buttons and a piece of silver carton, I make headphones for her. So now let's put everything together! super cute skate in the collection of my brother's old toys. And here is the street style princess made by me and by my mom. You know, I adore the BGD dolls made by Popova sisters. But I was always a little bit jealous because next to the amazing talent, they also have two creative minds and four creative hands. And this is also a serious plus point when you have an absolutely trustworthy partner in your business or art. So who knows, maybe it's not our last creation in collaboration with my mom, because she loved the creative process extremely a lot, and I like the end result also extremely a lot. So now it's kind of up to you, let me know in the comments what you think about our collaboration, and if you want to see more of them. And then who knows, maybe I will ask my mom to create some more special outfits for my dolls. 
so it was my video of the week. Please don't forget to put your likes if you enjoyed it. Subscribe my channel to get new Dory Paint videos every week Friday. Check my Instagram for more work in progress pictures. And of course, send some love to my mom. I know she's always checking the comments. And I will see you next week Friday in my next video. Bye!